decided to become an entrepreneur because I want to be independent and I want to leave a legacy. Thank you. I'm ready. Let's start. My name is Zola Sumba Adeleke. I'm the CEO of Share Blossom. We are based in Oyo State, Nigeria. We're into share butter processing. So this is the bulk share butter. It is packaged in 3.5 kilo. It is supplied to cosmetic and personal care companies. They use it for body creams, hair creams, base for ointments. In the food industry, they use it for making chocolates. We also have shea butter and retail jars, pure shea butter and shea butter with coconut oil. These are supplied to supermarkets, stores, beauty spas, salons, pharmacy shops. Shea grows in the wild, an organic and natural product. Nigeria has been producing shea butter from time immemorial. Women, they wake up in the morning to pick the shea fruits, carry it in their baskets, on their heads. They take it home to process to shea butter. I learned it from my mother. My mother learned it from her mother. So it's a generational thing. How do we help the women that are actually processing the shea butter to produce good and consistent quality shea butter? That's the reason why I want to become an entrepreneur. Traditionally, when the women want to process shea butter, they use water from the stream. Now that we have um, a water treatment plant, they can use the treated water and it's portable. This water treatment plant can produce um, 5,000 liters of portable water every hour. Apart from using this water for our production, people can just come in, they can use their water to wet their farmlands for domestic use, for drinking, for having their bath. When they processing it by the riverside or by the stream, the shea butter they produce from there can only go for cosmetic and personal care industry. But with this shea butter process from the water from the water treatment plant, it can go for three industries: cosmetic and personal care industry, or pharmaceutical industry, and food industry. It's the heart, it's the heart of the production itself. And environmental impact. That's the reason why we have the sedimentation tank. Instead of discharging it to the environment and polluting the rivers, they're killing the fishes. We have only one earth, and this is the earth that we live. We don't want to pollute it. We have to have good impact on people's lives. If you are going to tackle poverty, we have to use a bottom-up approach. Start from the basics. This is the base of the pyramid. At least with this facility, we're able to like showcase something to the world that we are doing something here in Nigeria and within our community and want to expand. As a woman in business, you have to work twice, if not three times as much a man. You are juggling so many things together, but at the same time, do your own business. I took a lot from the coaching program. I was able to concentrate first on the cosmetic and personal care industry. So while we have our footing there, we have a stronghold there, then we can now like expand to other industry like uh, pharmaceuticals and food. Then secondly, try to profile my customers. There's customers from Europe, then from Europe, you can then narrow it down to each country customers from Asia. So the coaching program helped me to like, okay, I should just cast my net wide. We want Shea Blossom to be an international brand. We want to have a range of skincare and hair care line, natural, organic, which is safe to use. Uh, we want to launch our products all over the world in the major cities so that it can be accessible to everyone. We can have a body shop in London, luxurious body in New York, then the Dubai for the Middle East want to be a multinational <laughs> in the next 10 years. We created a non-profit arm, which is the initiative for gender empowerment and creativity. We started applying for grants to build a share processing plant. So we got a grant from the Coca-Cola Foundation. We would provide overalls for them, provide safety boots. We have the cloak room where they can freshen up. We have the dining room. We have to make sure that they are working decently. The women that work here, some of them are nursing mothers. So when they bring in their babies, when they come in the morning, they put their babies here. Their mind is at rest that um, while they are working, they are also taking care of their family. 
I like women empowerment. They have an increase in income. It's going to impact on their livelihoods. But when they are economically empowered, they can easily do whatever they want to do. They are able to like enroll more children in school. They won't prioritize a boy child over a girl child. I see myself as an inspiration to other women. Mrs. Adeleke is doing this, so that means I can do it too. They can have that can-do spirit. So if I inspire them, I'm happy to hear that. <laughs>